Hi everyone, let's begin. There is a one specific problem of F-test, ANOVA, one-way ANOVA. So we just want to interpret these results. This is already given. Summary of F-test is already given. These are the groups, count, sum, average, variance. You can see here group A, group B, group C. That means that is between the group count, total count is 10, 10, 10. Sum is already given. Average is already given. Variance is already given. This is the one table has been given. Another table we can see here, ANOVA. ANOVA results, finally, these results has been given. So now how we are going to interpret these results? how we can find out which hypothesis is rejected and which one is accepted. This is the main question. So first of all, we will see sources of variations between group assess, value of assess is 1864.8, degree of freedom 2, MS 932.4, F value 5.173, P value 0 0.012, F critical 3.35. That is summary already has been given. When we talk about within the group 4866 SS value, degree of freedom 27, MS 180.22 and F is already, I mean, with the help of both these values, we had calculated F. I had already prepared a detailed video on ANOVA. One way ANOVA. So I am going to give this video link in my description box. You can go through that particular video. But here is, in this video, I am covering only how we are going to interpret these results. So how come we have reached on this particular value? So see, thing is there, we, between the group, you can see here, and within the group, you can see here, between the group, MS, how we are going to calculate. How come we have to reach on this particular value, 932.4? So first of all, what we have to do, 1864.8 divided by 2. 1.68 divided by 2. So let me check here. I'm just putting formula here. And this value is divided by this value. And what is the answer? So answer is same. 932.4 because I have not taken into consideration 0.8. So here is 932. Same answer. MS we had calculated. So you know, you understand this value. How come we will, we will reach on this value? Then we come to the within the group. Within the group, same thing we are going to apply here. I'm just putting formula here. This value, right? And that is divided by this divided by this value. Let me clear this. This value divided by this value and enter. So 180, you can see here, same answer we have got. Right. Now how, how I will reach on this particular point F factor, F ratio. And F value is variance between divided by variance within. So variance between here is, you can see here, between the group, this value and within the group, this value. So I'm just putting formula here. I am just putting within, here is the variance between. So this is my variance between the group. I had put it this, selected this cell divided by within the group. And let me press enter. So I'm sure same answer we have got. Same answer we have got, right. So let me clear this. After that, how we will reach on F critical? Now, what? how we are going to interpret these results? So we would interpret these results after getting this F value. We will find out because conduct a hypothesis because that is already given in question paper. Conduct a hypothesis testing to test the assertion made at alpha level of 0.05. Now, I would like to check what is the critical value of F value, uh, critical value, whether it is same 3.3541. So, let me check in F table. Here is, you can see, this is my F table. 
In this F table, we can see here degree of freedom is already given between the group and within the group. Between the group is 2 and within the group is 27. So what we have to do here is in this formula variance between. Between that means 2. That means vertically we will see 2 degree of freedom and horizontally we will not sorry vertically we will see 27 and horizontally we will see 2 right because 2 is our numerator and variance within is our denominator. So you can see here denominator already in this table given denominator degree of freedom. So my in my question denominator degree of freedom is 27. And numerator degree of freedom is 2. So let me check 27. Where is 27? This is 27. And with 2. And is already you can see alpha value is 0 0.05. Alpha value is 0 0.05 F distribution. And critical value 27 is our denominator. And numerator is here is 2. So we will vertically we will see right. There is 2, right? Vertically, we will see 27 and horizontally, we will see 2 and 3.35 is my final answer. So, my same is, same is I think we are getting 3.35 critical value. So, when, how we can select whether null hypothesis is rejected or accepted? So, we will reject null hypothesis and accept alternate hypothesis. Why? Because in this question, F critical value is lesser than F calculated value. My F calculated value is 5.173 and my critical value is 3.35. So, this is critical value means tabular value, table value. It is less than my calculated value. So, that is why we are rejecting null hypothesis and accepting alternate hypothesis. So I hope you could be able to understand when we are getting summary of ANOVA, how we are going to interpret these results. We can further cross check all these things, whether we are getting the same results manually, we had calculated all these things. And after that, F critical value, we have cross checked at the alpha level of 0 0.05. We have checked in our this table, F table. And critical values of F distribution, alpha is 0 0.05. Finally, we have checked and now we had written our conclusion. So I hope this video would be helpful. Thank you. Keep watching. And I'm giving you in my description box earlier recording detailed video on ANOVA, one-way ANOVA. Thank you.